goodness. Heavenly. What? Oh, come on, man. Do a Q&A or else. What does that even mean, bro? Hey, so you think it's fun in games now, hey, huh? Right, don't pretend right. we don't Ah, uh, Q&A. Y'all like the setup, though? And the Christmas tree? How it do be doing? I thought it would only be right to do a little bit of a Q&A. Let you guys ask me some questions. I'll let you know the answers. So you guys aren't just watching some guy with a fat head and glasses to give you fitness advice without truly knowing who I am. Put a post up on Instagram telling you guys to ask me some questions. <laughs> See what you guys came up with. First question from Jay Oof. You packing or lacking? This is going to be a great video. When did you start working out? So pretty much I started seriously training and dieting at the beginning of last year. I believe on the dot was February 16th. Before that, I was in the gym. I played football in high school. So, you know, the weight room and stuff. It was nothing crazy. If you guys have ever played football in high school, we're sitting there. You go in, you load as much weight onto the bar and you see what happens. It was a clown show to say the least. It was that, and sometimes a year after that, I would go to the Y and bench press and then play basketball. That's pretty much the only prior lifting knowledge I have from when I started seriously training last year. Did that attribute to any of my gains? No. <laughs> What influencers do you look up to? In the beginning of last year, I really started obsessing over fitness and watching a lot of fitness content. A big person that was popping off back in February was Jack Detalian. I would always watch his weight loss videos, his weight loss tips, his lifting advice. He actually was and is still a big inspiration of mine. Him and a few others are really the, the main people I looked up to. And the funny part about that is, we're mutuals on TikTok. We talk on Instagram sometimes. It's kind of crazy. It's actually, it's actually surreal now that I think about it. How often do you cheat on your diet? Honestly, if you have the urge to cheat on your diet like 24-7, you're doing something wrong, bro. <laughs> when you're dieting, that doesn't mean you need to be super strict on yourself 100% of the time. And even if, if you want to have an all out day where you just eat whatever you want, that will not hinder your progress at all. Just get back on track once you're ready and you'll be chilling. But yeah, I cheat on my diet whenever I'm like going out with friends and family or just want to enjoy myself if I need a little mental break. But you shouldn't want to cheat on your diet all the time. Was your sister supportive in your weight loss journey? He's referring to my girlfriend because I always call her my sister in my TikToks. When we met, we were actually both overweight. We were two little chunksters when we when when we met. She actually started to lose weight before me. Her weight loss was kind of unintentional because she got put on these ADHD pills that made her not as hungry. But when I first started the diet, we actually we actually did a lot of it together. She was doing it with me. She was dieting with me. She was she was training with me for pretty much all of last summer. So that was pretty cool. And yeah, she was pretty she was pretty supportive. Did you ever see yourself becoming a fitness influencer or did it come out of nowhere? I personally think the word influencer is cringe, but when I was younger, I was a huge I was avid I was a avid gamer. If if you guys game, I I there's a 90% chance you tried to stream before. So I tried to I tried to stream Call of Duty, tried to stream 2K, tried to do that. I thought I thought I was going to be a Twitch streamer, to be honest. I was overweight. I was playing video games all day, sitting in the house all day. So a fitness influencer is the last thing that was on my mind. <laughs> Does back sleep with socks on? No. And if you do, you're weird. How long did it take you to go from 270 pounds to 165 pounds? So this didn't happen all in one burst. As I said, I played football back in high school. Going into ninth grade, I was very overweight. I'd say I was around 270 pounds going into ninth grade. So ninth, ninth grade went through. That was a disaster. Tenth grade came by played football for a couple months, quit. Then the next year I played football. Once again, football, summer, double sessions, full pads, hella cardio. Honestly, I wasn't eating enough. When I lost weight during football, it was very unhealthy. Honestly, I dropped like, I dropped 50 pounds unintentionally. I, I had no muscle mass. I was, I was pretty much skinny fat. And then after football ended, went back to my old ways, playing video games every day, sitting at home, doing nothing, gained the weight back, or at least some of the weight back. That was pretty much all through senior year and a little bit after. And then it came to 2021. This is when I really got in the gym, focused on my diet. I was, I was around 210 pounds at the time. In a span of five to six months, I dropped down to 165. If you guys have seen that's where my transformation sparked so yeah it was a process wasn't the cleanest process but hey we got it done now we feeling good and we back do you ever plan on meeting or collabing with any other fitness creators like derek sebum etc if i get to see sebum in person 
I'll say I've made it. Of course, I want to collab with other fitness creators. It's always it's always fun to do that. Maybe I'll get down to Houston sometime this year, go to Alpha Land, see what I can do there. But yeah, that that's that's always something I wanted to do. What do you think the biggest misconception for beginners is? I'm guessing you're talking about going to the gym or just dieting in general or trying to lose weight. I think the biggest misconception is that you have to be perfect. When I was losing weight, when I was going through my transformation, I was nowhere near perfect. I had my fair a fair amount of cheat meals. I had my fair amount of days where I didn't want to train, where I actually didn't train. I've had weeks off. I had I had multiple weeks off. In the long run, it's all about consistency. A couple bad days and even a lot of bad days in a row will not throw you off progress. You just need to get back on track, keep pushing, and realize your journey doesn't have to be insanely strenuous. You can find foods that you like to eat and still hit your goals. You can find exercises that you vibe with so you'll stay consistent. You can find cardio that doesn't want to make you bash your head against the wall. There's ways to make everything more tolerable, and you just need to find what works for you. What made you start posting TikToks? So if you guys don't know, TikTok is how I actually built my platform. Um, I, I literally started out with nothing. I, I didn't have connections. I didn't I didn't have people to shout me out. I didn't, I didn't have friends in the community. I didn't have anyone to talk to it was pretty much just me and my girlfriend making tiktoks i was i was seeing all these transformations on tiktok and i was like i i can make one of these like that's literally what what sparked in my head i was like bro i can't wait till i can make a transformation video like what i look like what i looked like back in february and, and what i'm gonna look like when i'm done with this when i'm done with my weight loss i was like i'm, I'm just gonna post tiktoks post some recipes maybe post some tips and see, see people vibe with it. At first, I wasn't gaining any traction. I'd say the first two months of me posting, I would, I, I had probably under 5,000 followers. I was getting nothing. I was posting, 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 getting nothing. So I think the first time I actually saw traction was when I posted my first transformation. I believe this was sometime in like July when I was close to the end of my cut. It was like the Venom song for the transfer for the gym transformations. I posted that. That really that really made me see that my transformation was something special, that it was not something to be scarfed about. Cause I always doubted myself. Like I was like, is this really something hard to do? Did I really just do something like that out of the ordinary? Once I got traction, once people were saying like how crazy it was, I was like, hey, maybe I did do something crazy. And then once I started getting further into my cut, I <laughs> I honestly started milking my transformation. I was like, I made this for this transformation. I went from this to this in five months and this is my breakfast. It got like 200K views. I just started making more and more. I started making gym content. I started making some workouts. I started making some more recipes and it, it just built on from there. I started incorporating my personality more into the videos because I noticed that's what I needed to do to, in order to get known. That's one tip I have for you guys. If you guys are looking to make like a fitness TikTok or like anything really, you need to be different. If you are doing something that every single other person is doing, what makes you stay Stand out doing that you know it took consistency it took patience but hey we made it somewhere does it feel awkward to record in the gym yes <laughs> what is the hardest part about fat loss I'd say the learning process when you start dieting when you start training you aren't gonna know what you're doing but then you'll come to realize that it's not as hard as you think because once again once you find the things that work for you once you find the foods that you like once you find the exercise that you like to do it'll be a breeze use code Bax or he'll take your grandma this is actually nothing more than facts yo code Bax to get yourself a bozo Gila mix saves you 20% free shipping the US and Canada let me stop let me stop did you see yourself getting this far this fast how has it affected your goals if i'm gonna be honest with you it's been a grind i wouldn't say i got it quickly there, there's a lot of people who can blow up way faster than i did some people can throw their physique on a screen and blow up overnight some people some people are just naturally funnier than me some people have a better personality waking up every single day having to think of new content having to post new content every single day having to keep up with multiple platforms it gets stressful as it's affected my goals honestly this is now something i really want to focus on my social media presence my content creation my uh my fitness goals in general i really want to focus on building up my own body i really want to focus on getting content out there for you guys and seeing where that takes me to be honest we have come a long way so far and i'm i'm i can't be any more grateful my girlfriend's calling me hello say hi to the camera When did you realize it was a time to make a change and lose weight? Honestly, it was just built up aggression and I finally snapped. My whole life I was overweight, got bullied in high school, blah, blah, blah. Everyone has a sob story. Honestly, watching watching gym talk, I was like, I can actually make a change. Gym TikTok can do some good. How does one person pull so many grandmas? I'm not giving that information out for free, bro. I don't know what you think this is. I'm just kidding, go to the gym. What cardio you be doing? Yo, so I'm gonna give you guys a life hack right now. If you guys don't like cardio and you need to do cardio, hop on a treadmill, throw the incline up, 10 to 12 incline, throw it up to like 2.53 speed. You're sitting there, burning calories you can look down on your phone plan your phone boom you're passing time playing on your phone while you're burning calories that is what i found was the easiest cardio for me to stick to and stay consistent with do it do with that information as you will what are your current prs not enough <laughs> right now 245 bench 405 deadlift and i haven't maxed on squat since i lost weight I'm gonna come back to this video and, and those numbers are gonna be way higher. Watch. Does cardio kill your gains? No. As long as you're eating enough, as long as you're not letting the cardio affect your workouts, cardio does not kill gains. Biggest goal or achievement in life? 
my overall fitness goal was to open up a gym we'll see if that ever happens we'll see if i can accomplish that why yo dumpy fat he also asked me why i'm 4'2 i'm only 4'2 on the weekends dude five foot on the weekdays and heavy squats is how i built my dumpy any girls in here take notes hey we're guys let's end off the night on a good question how big is pp all right fave boy you kissed okay you got anything for the wee wee yeah okay yeah we're we're ending the video there. All right, this didn't go as bad as I planned. Let's actually ask some banger questions. Some of you didn't. If you guys liked the video, like, comment, subscribe, as usual. Turn on the post notifications. But yo, drop some video ideas you guys want to see next. And if you guys have any questions for me, hit me up on Instagram. I'll get back to you. And hey, I'll see you in the next one, boys and girls.